Well, good morning, friends, and happy Monday, September 25th. I am so excited to um, be able to bring a little teeny pop-up video. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be that long, um, but I need to get some footage cleared off of all of my devices that I've been saving for a day in the life, and I have so much content coming in October that I don't know where I would fit any of these cl clips in. I really don't. So, I'm going to go ahead and piece together what I have and go ahead and get this out to you, hopefully today or tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow. So basically we've got like a lot of like little day in the life stuff. I want to go ahead and um, show you our beehive issue that we had. That was a massive, like we were working on the porch and we're getting ready to work on the porch. We were standing outside with our neighbors and we were like looking through the yard um, and plotting out what we were going to do and uh, for Halloween and to finish like transition from Halloween into from fall into Halloween pretty much and we were talking about all of that and we had walked around now our our neighbor the one that was over Miss Rachel Miss Rachel is a master horticulturist so she helps us with all of our yard work like she gives us all the advice and everything that we need for that so notice this massive beehive in our front yard tree and it was it was literally massive and art had just mowed two weeks prior yeah it was about two weeks prior he was mowing in the front we haven't had to mow much because it has been so dry and so hot the grass hasn't really grown it was actually kind of dying um so we weren't bothering with it because we didn't want to ruin our lawn so we just kind of let it be but anyway he was mowing and it was not there when he was mowing because he literally has to go under this tree and it's a very low branch that they were on and it was not there and i actually filmed the um tree and you guys saw in my last vlog that that tree was starting to change the leaves were starting to change color well on that branch with that leaves changing color the leaves are gone and that hive is there now which is weird um so in a matter of two weeks there was over 300 bees and the queen bee <laughs> of fighting hornets in that hive and it was a situation that we could not take care of now lloyd and rachel had come up lloyd is rachel's husband lloyd and rachel came up with an idea first we didn't know what they kind of bees they were lloyd knew right away he knew what they were and he ran over and he got his little squirt can of bee you know killer and he comes over he goes we're just gonna wait until it's dark and we're gonna shoot this killer at the hornet's nest and it's gonna drop into a trash can and then we're gonna seal it and then we're gonna burn the hive and i'm like okay sounds like a great idea we'll see you we'll see you after dark text me when you're walking over and then um Art was like, I don't think that this is a good idea. So I texted Rachel and Lloyd later that afternoon. And I was like, yeah, can we kind of put a, a hold on this? And then we'll resume talks tomorrow. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. So in the meantime, Art and I, we talked about it and we just didn't want to risk having anyone stung. And we did research a little bit and found out that this type of bee is very aggressive, especially when they uh, feel like their hive is being intruded upon. So they would have attacked us and they would have relentlessly attacked whoever was near the, the hive. So, you know, we called in a professional. <laughs> and so I'm gonna show you footage of all of this as much as I was able to get. It's not a lot because I was afraid and I stayed inside and I didn't want to get too close to the hive or anything. But the hive is gone. They came out, took care of it. They um, said they have never seen... They ha um, The gentleman had his bee suit on. It was just one. And they're, they were doing it because um, they were going to do it as a... Like, use it as a training opportunity for their, their crew uh, of professionals. Um, because they've never seen one this big they've never seen a hive this big with that many bees so that was quite that was quite something and art the, the gentleman wanted a picture with art so that um and the hive so that they could put it on their uh website and 
I don't have that picture because I took the picture from inside the house. Because <laughs> I didn't want to get near that hot. I took the picture on the gentleman's phone so that he could have it for the website. I didn't ask for a copy or take a picture because I had gotten plenty and it was freaking me out. And I just, I just wanted it to be done and gone. So they got the hive. Everything's done, gone. Um, happy with that. But I'm going to show you that footage. And then there's just a few little other random things here and there that I'm going to piece together because I just want to get everything off my phone. Now, this is the last week of September and I am going to still bring you videos in October Sundays and Wednesdays, but October is going to be a little bit, a little bit different because I'm going to try to attempt to do Vlogtober. I cannot promise that I'm going to be able to vlog every day because life is just so busy and my health is not a hundred percent yet. It's just not there yet. So my energy level is, is different because my eating pattern has to be different. Basically I had to change my eating habits and I'm, so my energy level is just not the same as it used to be and I'm, my body is still adjusting to everything, but I'm seeing this as a wonderful opportunity to be healthy. <clears throat> healthier as I age, my metabolism slows, I've put on weight, you know, I'm just, I'm not taking care of myself like I should, I'm taking care of everyone else. And I, um, so it's, it's, this is going to be, I know that this isn't the new year, but we're ending, we're about to end a year. Oh, a dog just ran out of that, a stray dog. Oh, breaks my heart. I'm almost at work, so I can't stop. And he had, he probably got his owner over there. Anyway, I'm like squirrel. Um, anyway, it's an opportunity for me to begin right now and start a new year of healthy learning and, you know, for the rest of my lifetime, healthy learning, healthy living. And it, you know, carry me through the entire rest of my life because I want to live a long time. I want to be around for my kids and art. So anyway, I'm going to piece together all of these different things that I have. And October is going to be full of a lot of crafting, decorating, and all Halloween content. So if Halloween is not your thing, by all means, you know, just don't worry about tuning in during October. But um, October is going to be not just all, I don't do scary Halloween. I do fun Halloween. I do very cutesy, whimsical vintage -y, you know, 80s, 90s kind of stuff, you know? And I make a lot of my own elements, so you guys would probably enjoy watching me make some of these things. And you can easily transition some of these crafts into something for uh, Christmas, like the coffee, vintage coffee bar apothecary idea that I had. You can make apothecary jars for Christmas too. You don't have, it doesn't have to be like Halloween witchy kind of stuff you can literally just use old vintage labels of coffees and marshmallows and cocos and stuff and put that on these little bottles and have a little mini, you know, vintage um, bar for, for Christmas. So you can easily take the crafts that I'm doing and transition them into Christmas. So if you're a crafter or somebody that likes to make your own things or you get inspired by watching people make things, you definitely wanna stay uh, tuned for that. So without further ado, let's get into all this footage and I will check back in on my way home and hopefully the video will be done by then. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep light of fires The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence We should be good, but we keep light of fires Fires around ourselves We should be good, but we keep light of fires The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence We should be good, but we keep light of fires Fires around ourselves It's deja vu Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we connect I 
Addict and drunk even though we're sober We should be cool but we keep out of fires The words repeat cause we're scared of the silence We should be cool but we keep out of fires Fires around ourselves We should be good, but we keep out of fires The words repeat cause we're scared of the silence We should be good, but we keep out of fires Fires around ourselves It's deja vu Relax. I'm going to enjoy Maggie time. I'm going to enjoy a little craft time and I'm going to enjoy sitting with art and watching TV and having dinner um, and just a nice calm restful evening. Fall weather is finally here in West Virginia. I am so happy. I get to wear my boots. I get to wear my sweaters and I'm really really happy about that. Uh, you have no idea. I'm so happy about that all the fall things i am a fall girl every season of the year in my heart is fall no matter what the season is i'm definitely a fall girl now i know today's video was not like the typical day in the life it was it was definitely just a um, mod mod podge of like everything put together so if you're watching to this point thank you thank you my faithful free few thank you i adore you you guys are my fam you really are I truly think of you as family and friends, and I'm building a community, not a channel. And I have said that a million times. I will always say that because that is the heartbeat of why I'm doing this. It's not for any other reason. I'm building a community. And I love all the things that happen that go along with that. I have met so many beautiful people. I have made so many genuine friends, really genuine friends. And you know who you are. Um, and I've met some, I've met some interesting, interesting folks that give me food for thought. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me today. I hope that each of you have a wonderful rest of your week. Wednesday, we are doing our craft, of course. So we will, um, I'm not sure what craft I'm going to post. I have quite a few ready so I'm debating on on the order of which I'm rolling all of these all of this Halloween content out it's real it I got so excited that I cared more about the execution of what the house looked like and what the craft turned out like more than I cared about what the filming and the editing looked like <laughs> so you'll definitely see that um, it's not the best of quality but I'll tell you my home tour for Halloween is going to be phenomenal. You can't miss it. So, until Wednesday, when we do this all again, I'll see you then.
Bye.